Well, in the last video, we talked about establishing a TCP IP connection between WinCC Explorer and Simmons 7 PLC. Today, I will start from where we ended last time and I will be adding the IO signals from Simmons 7 PLC, such as digital input and digital output signals in this tag management section of the WinCC Explorer. And I will, in fact, read those signals in this. Uh, WinCC Explorer software and I will display those signals on to the HMI runtime HMI for demonstration purpose right I will change the status of those signals from the semantic manager from the PLC simulator and uh, I will observe whether it is changing its status accordingly on the HMI or not right so let's start I will make a slight modification to my uh, uh, my project Simmons S7 PLC project. I will add a digital output card as well, right? Because uh, I have to read digital output signals as well in the <coughs> WinCC Explorer. So add a digital output card, a digital output card, for example, with uh, 16 uh, sorry with uh, 32 channels each 24 volt let's save the project stop the PLC and uh, download Again, set the PLC to the run mode. And let me monitor the output card. Well, the digital module has been updated in the project. Now, <clears throat> let's go to the tag management section of the WinCC Explorer. Well, if I go to the runtime, for example, I'm going to the runtime here and uh, in the tag management section, well, it shows that a connection has been established. So anyway, you can uh, deactivate the project for the time being and let's add uh, a digital input signal and a digital output signal in the tag management section, right? Well, if I go to the hardware configuration, of my project well i0.0 I will be reading this first digital input signal of the digital input card right just for demonstration purpose just for example and I will be reading this first digital output signal right you can add any uh, as many signals as you want right Let's go to the <coughs> tag management section again. I will name it, for example, input underscore one. Well, the data type is binary, right? So binary tag. The connection name is connection one, right? Through this connection, between the WinCC Explorer and Simmons S7 PLC, we will be reading these uh, digital signals, right? So the address of the input signal which I'm reading is I0.0, right? So input address is, it is bit and uh, it is the zeroth bit of zeroth byte i 0.0 right click ok now for the output signal output underscore one the data type is binary tag the connection is new connection one which is this tcp ip connection and the address is Q0.0, sorry, Q4.0, right? And that's it. 
Now I can access these uh, input and output signals, digital input and output signals onto the HMI, the graphics designer, and I will go to the runtime, I will activate the project and I can observe the status of these signals from the PLC onto the HMI. Let me demonstrate it. Well, just close this tag management section, go to, the, go to the graphics designer, open the picture. <clears throat> well, I will bring this uh, circle. and a rectangle for the output signal right Well, if I click on the properties, on this circle, go to the color section and uh, in the background color I will go for dynamic dialog. The data type of the signal which I am associating with uh, this circle is boolean, right? And if that signal is high, I will assign it the color green and if it is low i will assign the color red right and the expression which will be evaluating that tag i will actually fetch that tag in this uh, bar right i will click on this and i will click tag over here if you go to tcp ip section new connection well, this is the input one, right? I will click on this input one. I will click OK, right? Similarly, I will click on, I will repeat this process for this rectangle as well. So go to the background color, dynamic dialog, Boolean, green for high and uh, for example, orange for low. And I will fit the tag output one okay now i have associated input signals input digital signal with this circle and uh, q4.0 the digital output signal with this rectangle right one thing i have to do is to click on this circle again click on the effects global color scheme it must be no right and similarly repeat this process for uh, the rectangle as well Save the graphics designer page, go to the runtime, activate the project. Now, this is the runtime of my project. The graphics is, are now in runtime. I will go to the simulator. And uh, since I have designed it as that, uh, if the input signal, the I 0.0, .0 is low, this will be red right and uh, for output variable if q4.0 is low this rectangle will be orange i have designed it like that so now if i make the signal i 0.0, .0 high upon change sorry uh, after two second delay it will be uh, green in color right and q4.0 green in color right so this uh, two second delay is in the setting setting i will change it to upon uh, uh, upon change right so that it uh, changes color immediately click on here event uh, 
it must be upon change okay repeat the process for uh, the rectangle one upon change okay save the project again go to the runtime uh, simulator oh the changes will take effect after reactivating the project so let me deactivate the project and i will activate the project again to observe whether the changes have been made simulator i 0, 0.0 is high so this is green q 4.0 is high this is why this is green and immediately upon making it blue the changes will be uh, sorry the color would be changed accordingly immediately upon change right so that was the demo of how to uh, add the tags or digital input and digital output signal of PLC into the tag management section of the WinCC Explorer and later on show it on the graphics design HMI in the runtime so that's all for now see you again in the next video